Oh, 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 you scared me. I didn't see you there or hear you. Either way, you are really sneaky. Or wait a second. In our last lesson, we learned all about the senses. I wonder if my senses could have helped me here. Huh. But how do we use our five senses? Well, let's find out. Before we learn how we use our senses, let's make sure we remember which part of the body is used for each sense. There are five senses in all. Hearing, sight, smell, taste, and touch. Point to each of the senses on your body as I say them. Hearing uses the ears. Sight uses the eyes. Smell uses the nose. Taste uses the mouth. And the sense of touch uses the whole body, but mostly the hands. We know that we use our senses to explore and understand the world around us, but how do we use each sense? What kinds of things do our senses help us do? Let's start with hearing. A lot of people use hearing to communicate. Right now, I am using my voice to make words, and some of you are using your ears to listen. Did you know that sounds can also affect our mood and keep us safe? When I hear this sound, I feel calm and relaxed. How does it make you feel? And when I hear this sound, then I know there's an emergency that I need to be aware of. Every kind of sound is telling our brain something different. However, the sense of sight is the most complex sense. Sight gives us information about colors, shapes, textures, light, movement, and more. Colors, for example, are used to keep us safe every day. Red tells us to stop, yellow tells us to slow down, and green tells us it's safe to go. People also use sight to communicate with each other, like reading a text message or using sign language. In sign language, you use your hands to communicate instead of your voice. So instead of listening with your ears, you watch with your eyes. For example, this is how you say hello in sign language. Try saying hello with me. Great job. Next up is smell. We know smells can be good or bad, but how does that help us understand the world around us? Well, when it comes to eating and drinking, the sense of smell can help us make sure what we're eating is safe. Sometimes food or drinks will smell really good. Imagine the smell of your favorite food. Uh, I am imagining the deliciously cheesy smell of a fresh pepperoni pizza. Ah. Now, imagine the smell of your favorite food two weeks later. Oh, yuck! It smells so stinky! All food goes bad over time, and the sense of smell can help keep you safe by telling your brain not to eat that rotten food. That brings us right to taste. In our everyday life, taste is a very fun sense. We can experience all different kinds of flavors in the foods we eat. Flavors can be sour, salty, sweet, spicy, and more. However, taste is a sense that we have to be very careful with as scientists. There are lots of things we might have questions about that we wouldn't taste to investigate, like a tree or a rock, yuck. We have to be very safe with anything we taste because every time we use our tongue to taste something, it is going inside our body. It's important to remember that as a scientist, you will never use your sense of taste without a grown-up's help. We can use our other senses instead, like our sense of touch. The sense of touch is used to feel different textures like smooth, bumpy, and soft. It's also used to feel temperature or how hot or cold objects are. One thing we can feel that isn't very fun is pain. Did you know that 
feeling pain is actually a way your sense of touch keeps your body safe? Have you ever taken a bite of food when it was too hot or maybe even tried touching a cactus like I did last week? When I felt the pain from the sharp cactus, my brain told my hands to move away. Without feeling that pain, I could have gotten really hurt. Touch, like the other senses, teaches us a lot about our world. We've explored some of the ways we use our senses every day, but how will we use our senses in science? As a scientist, you'll also be using your senses to ask and answer questions. For instance, how is a green apple different from a red apple? Let's use our senses to investigate. With my sense of sight, I can see that this apple is red and this apple is green. They're also about the same size and shape. With my sense of touch, I can feel that they're the same texture, very smooth. I can smell <laughs> that they both smell fresh and fruity. Now, taste. The red apple tastes sweet and juicy. And the green apple is also juicy, but it tastes a little sour. And finally, let's see what I can hear. Well, I can't hear anything coming from either apple by itself, but uh, when I take a bite, both apples make a loud crunching sound. Based on the observations we made with our senses, we can answer our question. Using our senses, we discovered that a green apple and a red apple are different because they're different colors and they have different flavors. We can learn so much about the world around us by using our senses to explore. Our senses help us connect to the world around us, ask and answer questions, communicate with others, stay safe, and much, much more. After this video, try to investigate the place where you're learning. Can you think of any questions about what you see, feel, hear, smell, or taste? Use your senses to explore. Great job today, scientist. Remember, science is all around us. See you next time.